Okay, we're standing at a fish counter, you guys. We're gonna have fish for dinner today. This is just so exotic. I remember seeing this at the Lonsdale Key. We have an awesome, awesome fish place, but this is uh, just attached to one of the big uh, grocery stores. So I've got a treat for you guys. I'm going to buy eel. You've heard me talk about eel before. So we're gonna buy eel, and then I'm gonna eat it for you later on. So big treat for you guys. And uh, we are in Kotswank, which is, uh, we actually I have some videos from there as well. So let's go and get my piece of eel. So we get some smoked fish here, and this one is the one that got me. I've never eaten this before, which is a herring bellies. So the belly out of the herring is smoked. So what I'm going to treat you guys with today is, see that? That is smoked eel, and it is so lecker. So we're going to buy one. And I'm going to treat you. I'm going to get an eel, and I'm also going to get what they call um, uh, eel. We say paling in Holland. Uh, that's uh, been uh, filleted already. So I'm going to show you both, and I'm going to eat them for you guys. Scary, huh? So please, sir, could I have one smoked eel and in fillet? Thank you. He does. Uh, to take away, please. So we're going to get the eel there. One, a full one. Yeah, one full one. And one fillet. Yes, please. Is that enough for you? Yes, that is. My sister's over there buying more for supper tonight, so it's uh, going to be a fish night. Oh, great. You guys are going to love this. <laughs> version of fish and chips. What do you call this in Dutch? My sister doesn't want to be on camera, but she can speak. Kibbling. Kibbling. So this would be like fish and chips. But you know what? There's hardly any batter on it. It's so good. So we're having that. Uh, we've got the smoked eel. We've got our bag full of fish. You guys, this is a treat. This is a treat. And then a little... Oh, there's not even French fries in here. It's just the fish. So look at this. And this is like a tartare tar sauce. Well, there you go. If you're full of envy, you should be. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're sitting here eating the fish and chips. And I just want to say that Bill, who's not with me, honey, one of your favorite dishes, fish and chips. This is so... So cool. And um, my hair doesn't look that great, don't worry about it, because I'm actually eating really good fish. And the sign says, thank you, and uh, so uh, see you later. Okay, so we were at the market and we got our eel and now i'm sitting at the kitchen table with my eel now okay you know what the dutch have been eating eels forever and ever and actually it's being revived in amsterdam i'll share some of the story below in the description uh, but you know what i've always loved it now i gotta tell you a little story before i show you the eel Many, many years ago, when I, Bill and I were first married, about, uh, what, well, 26 years ago, um, I had one time said to him, you know, um, I had, somebody had brought back smoked eel from Holland to Canada. And so he came home from work and he goes, what's that? And I said, smoked eel, do you want some? And absolutely not. He was not going to touch it. So I just, because it's smoked, so it keeps for a little while. So I waited a couple of days. Then... And it was because he saw this, right? He saw this, like he wasn't gonna go there. So I waited a few days and then I uh, skinned the meat off, this, off the skin and I put some of it on a cracker. So a little different story this time. And we normally have little snacks. We used to have dinner late. And so I put 
the pieces of meat on a cracker. And um, he said, oh, what's this? And I said, oh, it's smoked fish. I didn't explain what. And so he took crack and he goes, that is really good, I love this. So I let him eat a bunch of crackers. And then a little later on, after I figured everything had digested, I told him he'd actually eaten smoked eel and he actually really quite enjoyed it. So anyhow, so he now does like smoked eel, but he's not there to share or not here to share it with me. Okay guys, so here's our eel. Now, see this little hole right there? That was an eye. Now not to be too sadistic, they pop them out, just like that. Ooh. But they have a big stick. I just have a little one. So when they're caught, then they hang them. Of course, they're clean. Got it. See that? And then they hang them and smoke them. So that's why we have... My sister actually gave me a thick one because she was scared I was going to poke my eye out. Okay, so that's our eel. Okay, now I'm gonna lay it down and you're going to maybe enjoy some of this with me. After all, you went shopping with me, so you want some? Okay, so I'm gonna cut this. And they are pretty greasy. Oh my goodness, look at this. Normally you can actually just, really just skin it, right? You can see people eating these in the market. I kind of butchered this. <laughs> I've been away for too long. Oh my goodness. Now, of course, any seasoned Dutchman is going to critique me on this because, you know, there is a way to perfect this, but oh my goodness, this is so yummy. My sister already said, you're going to taste this all night long. Mm. Okay, time to eat it. I've cut it up. Now it's time to eat it. Okay, now it's very oily. Very, very oily. Sorry, did I get your head? <laughs> okay. Oh my God, you guys. This is... Now, a real Dutchman. I am a real Dutchman, actually. Um, I just haven't perfected this. Nor do I get to eat meal very often. In fact, I can't remember the last time. Well except for that little story about Bill. So anyway, you can see, if you Google it, guys just slither it down. There we go. This is a delicacy where I come from. Mm. Uh, it is a delicacy. Try it if you ever get a chance. Don't pass up an opportunity like this. Mm. Guys, as you know, I'm doing my videos from the Netherlands. And so they aren't always exactly as I would like them to be. But you know what? It's me. And I'm doing the best with the internet I have. If you've never been to my channel before, I really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and it's that little red button right down there. I think it's right down there. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And of course, the comments always appreciate it. Okay, guys, till the next one I can get out to you. They're coming out sporadically. Have a good one. It's happy hour here. See you later. Holly. I told you I was in happy hour, nine hours ahead of you. Mm. Speaking of Holly, you guys, I'm gonna put her link down below. She's somebody I really enjoy listening to.
because she kind of has the same mindset as me. Try to be happy. We have a choice. She has wonderful happy hours. So check her out. And uh, yeah, we can all have a sip or two together. See you guys later. Bye.